have somebody in my kitchen. I'm just getting out now to go to the shower. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Come out to my kitchen. These people didn't even say good morning. <laughs> One of them is in the living room, in the dining room. Look like she's working. The other one in the kitchen is definitely working. Yep. Working on breakfast. Working on. <laughs> yes. So I am going to go get in the shower as I, I she was in the planned. Well, Brown. now you know that you don't know everything. But I love you guys. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get in the shower. Right. I am out of the shower. My son has knocked on the door to tell me that breakfast is ready. I want you to know that I'm wearing one of my Christmas gifts on my head, so I don't need to wear my satin cap along with my towel. And I am going to sit down now and eat breakfast. I'll show you what we're having. Okay, CJ, this is my shrimp and grits, and what is on it? Cheese and green onions, scallions. Okay, and it's just yellow grits? Yes, ma'am. Okay, and now you're getting ready to give us some... Croissants. Croissants. Let me see it. Ew. Looks good. Is that just plain old croissants? They look good. Oh. I was going to do um, ciabatta bread with, you know, some jelly or something like that, but they didn't have no ciabatta bread. So. Okay. I I'll take ciabatta. this. Yep. Yep. Thank you. Breakfast is finished, and I'm going to try to keep on going before I give into the feeling of taking a nap. Now, this is the shape of my wrap that I just wore on my head after drying. It's a turban type wrap, and so when I put that on my head, I just wrap that around take it around to the other side and there's a button for this section it works well and my hair feels so cool i'll say that my scalp feels cool from the shampoo with the peppermint and i just went ahead and put peppermint oil in the bottle of my purple shampoo so i'm going to take these out and I am going to put my hair into some more braids before it air dries. And I will use this styling mousse because I want more body and I want more hold on my braid out. I find that my braid out works better on clean, freshly shampooed hair. And when I use a styling agent, it holds longer. And I like that. I'm gonna show you how I had my hair braided. Notice I only had three bands in my hair and I had three bands to hold, I think about seven braids. Two, four, yeah. So this is how I braided my band, braid. <laughs> This is how I braided and banded my hair for my shampoo. Since I knew I was going to braid it over again. I don't think my husband and I are going to be going anywhere for New Year's Eve. We've had a wonderful breakfast. We'll probably just do some things around the house. He's out now picking up. A few things that I need for New Year's dinner. We're going to do that typical Southern New Year's dinner. I will be cooking rice with peas. Yeah, just like my mama made. <laughs> I'll be making some collard greens. Fried chicken. And since... I don't like frying chicken and I don't, 
I won't tell you that I don't usually fry chicken. I'll just say that I don't fry chicken. I purchased some chicken last night from our local most famous Biddy Banquet that I found out about last year or earlier this year. I found out about Beatty Banquet and how good their fried chicken is. And so that's what I'll be serving with my meal. I'll probably make cornbread and a peach cobbler. And that will be our menu. I know right now that I'll be joined by my son and his wife, who just prepared breakfast for us, as well as my brother and sister. At least one brother and one sister are going to be coming to dinner tomorrow. And I don't know if I'll have anyone else, but I'll certainly have enough food for anybody else who wants to come by. I am going to go ahead and braid my hair into some smaller braids. This section is going to be braided into four. And I'll come back and show you exactly how it looks. See you in a little bit. Well, I'm back. I finished braiding my hair. I counted them. I have less than I've had in the past. In the past, I've, I've braided as much as 50 or I remember doing 42 braids. I didn't have a rhyme or reason as to how many braids I was going to put into it. But I used what I did was put approximately five to six sections five to six braids in each sections some sections i added four but i ended up with a total of 36 braids in my hair and then i went ahead and used the wrap -a lock on the end my ends are not completely dry my hair is not completely dry but i just We'll put these back in possibly tonight for a better look if I feel up to it. I'm taking these out because I am going to do my 360 and let you see what my hair looks like. My 36 braids. And I will be wearing these for a few days because I have no reason to take them out. So I like this, the look. I like this look of the braids in my hair, the size. This reminds me of larger traditional locks, and I like them. It reminds me of just braids in general. These wrapper locks have put my ends closer together and it doesn't look like it's frizzy, but it smooths it out. Look like I missed that one. And I'll put it back later. Immediately after I finished my braids, I asked my husband what he thought and he said he liked it. And I certainly do too. It took me about 45 minutes to put into, to breathe these 36 breaths right at 45 minutes. And this is what my hair looks like. I will do my 360 right now. While I was braiding my hair, I did a video about reties. I watched a video this morning where a young lady said that when she got her hair retightened, it always hurts. So she takes some type of medication. It prompted me to do a video letting you know that reties don't have to hurt. And I am going to put a link to that video right up here. And so if you have not watched it yet, you can click on that link. But it'll be the video that was 
published right before this one. And now I'm going to do my 360. This is a sister who loves her locks. I love my friends, my family, and my subscribers. I also love my followers, but I especially love God. You see, God has been good to me. He will, if, if I didn't have any other reason to be grateful, I could say that I'm grateful because he woke me up this morning. If I didn't have any other reason to be grateful, I can say that he's true to his word where he said he'd never leave me or forsake me. If I didn't have any other reason to be grateful, I would say that God has let me live through 2022 and tomorrow is 2023. If I didn't have any other reason to be grateful, I can say that I have my health and strength and I am grateful to God for that. Whatever reason you can find to feel down and out, I am pretty sure that if you stop and think long enough, you will have enough reason to be grateful. So I'm grateful for you that are listening in. And hopefully I have uplifted and encouraged you in some way during this year. Have a very happy new year.